I thought it was meant to take away the frizz. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I am Lauren. I'm going to be seeing how ghee butter, i.e. clarified butter, works in my hair. A few months back, I done Ethiopian hair butter on my hair and I love the results. However, I didn't want to have to make the butter every single week or weekend. So all I've done is bought ghee, clarified butter, and I'm going to be using that on my hair today as a deep conditioner. And you can see here in this bowl what it looks like. So it's got a similar consistency to coconut oil. Now I've seen some people heat it up completely till it's like an oil. I don't necessarily want to put it on my hair like that because I'm not doing a hot oil treatment. I want to apply it on my hair in a similar manner that I did with the Ethiopian hair butter. So before I continue, I just want to talk a little bit about the ghee. And the ghee is known as a clarified butter. So what this means is in comparison to a regular butter, ghee is basically fat only or a solid oil. The smell, initially when I opened the tin, it had a nice sweet smell. But as I scooped it out, it started to smell very milky. It's not an overpowering scent, but it smells very, very creamy. And so the ghee butter here benefits, just before I continue, it contains antioxidants that eliminates the toxins that create frizz and heavy hair. It contains vitamin E and vitamin A, which is amazing for your hair, and it gives it the nourishment it needs. I'm gonna wash it now, come back to you with my hair shampooed and ready to apply the ghee. Anyway, I'm gonna go and apply it to my hair now. So I'm gonna stop talking and just carry on. So guys, I'm just gonna stop there for a second just to show you. Applying it, it has a really nice smell, like a pastry, like a short crust pastry. It's a weird sensation applying it because it's not completely smooth, very grainy. As I said, I didn't want to have it as an oil put on my hair. So when I smooth out like so, it becomes smooth. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead, do the other side of camera. Come back to you once I have my shower cap on. Carry on watching. The heat from my head is starting to heat it up and it's starting to melt. Anyway guys, I'm gonna put this on my head for about 45 minutes. I'm going to time it. Right, 45. I'm gonna wrap this towel around my head just so the heat actually helps it penetrate into my strands. I'll see you in a sec. Just start buzzing in a minute. Right. Good to go and take it off now. All right guys, so before I continue, I just wanted to show you something because I didn't want to say it and then obviously you'd not see it. I want you to see it for yourself. As you can see, this side of my hair is a lot flatter, a lot more moisturized. And no, it's not because of the butter. It's because I've had to deep condition my hair. This is how my hair looked after washing the butter out. I'm not that happy. I don't actually think I like this ghee for my hair. I may have done something wrong. I mean, I've got nice definition, guys. You see that definition, can't you? The dryness and the frizz is not it. Can you see how much frizz I've got? I thought it was meant to take away the frizz. Yeah, I did have to wash it out with shampoo as well because the smell was a bit too overwhelming. The sweet scent started to fade and then I had this sickly smell afterwards. So I had to wash it out with shampoo. And maybe it's because I had to wash it out with shampoo whilst it looks like this, but my hair was also very greasy. So I needed to get this grease out of my hair. Hence why I use the shampoo. But to be honest, I think once I've put the deep conditioner in over it, I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna work out to be fine. So I'm gonna carry on applying the deep conditioner, leave that in for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm going to rinse it out and show you the complete final results and come to you with my final thoughts, okay? Okay, so now guys, I'm coming back to you with the final conclusion. And I'm gonna be very honest. Do you know what, before I tell you this, I just wanna say, if you're new here, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. I'd love to see you come back next week and the week after and the week after that, hit the notification bell. Okay, so let's get back to this video. Right, so my final thoughts are, I actually really do prefer the Ethiopian hair butter. I like the definition it gave me. I've got quite a bit of shrinkage, which is not a bad thing because shrinkage shows, you know, the health of your hair and got that last, 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 last. You got that elasticity in your hair. However, I did not like the way it made my hair feel after I shampooed my hair. 
Putting the deep conditioner on my hair afterwards definitely made a fast improvement. I might not necessarily use it for a deep conditioner, rather maybe a pre-poo treatment. I like the fact that it has these benefits to it, but as I said, I didn't like how my hair was left feeling. So I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna say, would I recommend it? Personally for me, I'll say this. I wouldn't necessarily use it again myself. Would I recommend it? I would never tell someone not to use something in their hair if they feel that's what they want to use. If you wanna try it, try it. If you have tried it, and and you see the error that I've made or something I could do different, please let me know, I'm, I'm all for it. However, this time round, it's a no for me. Yeah, I really do like the Ethiopian hair butter though. So, but guys, wait, there's more. Click on this video now to see how I got on with the Ethiopian hair butter.